Huawei is all set to expand its tablet lineup with the launch of four brand new devices. After introducing the Pure 80 series smartphones, the company has now turned its focus to tablets, and exciting things are on the horizon. This time, Huawei is reportedly preparing to unveil for different tablets, each catering to a specific segment, a flagship model, to mid-range options, and a commercial-focused device under the King Yoon brand. These tablets are expected to arrive in the second half of 2025 and come with several improvements over their predecessors. Let's begin with the most premium device in this list, the Huawei MatePad Pro 12.0 to 2025. This flagship tablet has already made its global debut and brings with it a series of upgrades. Starting with the design, Huawei has made some subtle refinements in the camera module, giving it a more polished and modern look. The display is also worth talking about. It features a paper matte screen, which not only reduces reflections, but also provides a more natural writing and viewing experience, especially when using a stylus. Speaking of stylus support, the MatePad Pro 12 points to comes with a detachable keyboard that includes a dedicated slot for stylus storage, a thoughtful addition for productivity-focused users. Powering this tablet is the new Kirin 90208 chipset, which delivers better performance compared to the previous MatePad Pro 13 point to from 2024. The chipset is expected to bring more efficiency and possibly even satellite communication support through low-orbit technologies. This could be a major selling point for users who need connectivity in remote areas. Next, we have the Huawei MatePad Air 12 2025. While Huawei hasn't revealed full details about this device yet, we can expect it to serve as a mid-range option with a focus on sleek design and balanced performance. It will likely carry improvements in display technology and overall performance compared to previous Air Series models. The third device is the Huawei MatePad 11.5 2025, another mid-range tablet that could appeal to students, casual users, and professionals looking for an affordable, yet capable device. Though we don't have detailed specs just yet, it's expected to run on HarmonyOS 5.0, just like the other models. This new version of Huawei's in-house operating system is likely to bring smoother performance, better multitasking, and improved cross-device collaboration. The fourth and final device is the King Yoon C7 2025. Unlike the other three tablets that are designed for everyday consumers, this one is meant for commercial use. The King Yoon line is typically aimed at enterprise users, government agencies, and institutions that need secure and stable hardware. Huawei's commercial tablets often prioritize security, system stability, and productivity features, so, while you might not find it on store shelves, the King Yoon C7 is expected to be an important release in sectors like finance, public administration, and education. Interestingly, aside from these for tablets, there are also rumors that Huawei is working on a small 8.8-inch tablet with unique features. While nothing official has been confirmed yet, early leaks suggest that this could be an ultra-portable device with surprising capabilities. It might be ideal for users who want something compact without sacrificing too much performance. And there's one more exciting possibility. Huawei could be developing a foldable tablet. While this hasn't been confirmed and no launch date has been provided, such a device would mark a big leap in Huawei's tablet innovation. A foldable form factor would allow users to enjoy the benefits of a larger screen while maintaining portability, something that would set Huawei apart in the tablet market. In summary, Huawei's upcoming tablet lineup includes Huawei MatePad Pro 12.0 to 2025, a flagship device with a paper matte display, Kirin 90208 chip, stylus storage, and possibly satellite communication. Huawei MatePad Air 122025, a mid-range tablet with likely improvements in design and performance. Huawei MatePad 11.5-2025, another mid-range model expected to run on HarmonyOS 5.0 and serve the needs of general users. Huawei King Yoon C7 2025, 
a commercial tablet for enterprise and government sectors with a focus on security and stability. With these new devices, Huawei is clearly aiming to cover a wide range of user needs, from casual entertainment to professional productivity and even secure enterprise usage. And with Harmonyos 5.0 becoming the standard across the lineup, users can expect a more unified and efficient ecosystem experience. As we move into the second half of the year, we'll likely hear more details about each of these tablets, including specs, pricing, and launch dates. For now, one thing's clear, Huawei is stepping up its game in the tablet market, and it's going to be exciting to see how these new models perform once they hit the shelves.